Hello there. It is important to note that the coming of Jesus was part of a divine plan of God that we are still part of even now. It is not yet fully fulfilled. Hello, 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 lovely brothers and sisters of the internet. This is the boy with the colorful background once again here to teach you about the word of God in under three minutes. My name is Andy and I hope God has been so good to you, just as it's been so good to me. Let's get started. The first reason that Jesus came to die for us is to take away the anger of God for us. Let's open the scripture to understand what it says about that. Romans chapter 3 verse 25 to 26. These scriptures are showing us that we on our own are unfit to enter the kingdom of God. But through our Lord Jesus, the punishment that we were supposed to get because of our sinful nature is no more. He died to take your punishment from you. The second reason that Jesus died for us is that he wanted to make us the friends of God. For that, let's open Romans chapter 5 verse 10. By the sin that came through Adam and Eve, we were thrown out of the presence of God because we chose to live in sin. But through the coming and the death of our Lord Jesus, God opened the door for us to come back again into his holy presence if we chose Jesus. The third reason that Jesus died is that he wanted to show God's endless love for sinners. Let's go to Romans chapter 5 verse 8. This verse just reveals how much God loves us. God loves us as dirty and filthy as we are. His love is unconditional. It doesn't hold grudges. God still loves you no matter what you did. Side note here, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, please show the boy some love and click that subscribe button below over there. And don't forget to like so that it helps the algorithm. And also comment down below on what topics you want me to cover next time. Back to the video. The fourth reason that Jesus died is that he wanted to give eternal life to all those who believe him and his death. Let's open first John chapter 5 verse 11. This verse is a clear representation of what our Lord Jesus came to do. He came to open once again the door to eternity that was lost through Adam and Eve. He died so that you might pass from death that came through Adam and Eve into life that came with him. And the fifth reason that Jesus died, he died so that he could break the curse of the law. Let's open Galatians chapter 3 verse 13. God through Moses in the Old Testament gave the law to his people so that he can help them to live a holy life. But his people couldn't keep the law. They kept on breaking it over and over and over again. In simple terms, the law was just too difficult for the people to keep no matter how much they wanted to. Jesus died for that very reason, to be cursed by the law so that we wouldn't be cursed by the law any longer. The sixth reason that Jesus died for us is that he wanted to break division between Jews and Gentiles. Let's look at Ephesians chapter 2 verse 11 to 13. This scripture passage shows that before Jesus died, the Jews were the only one who knew God. But through the death and resurrection of our Lord Jesus, the Jews and us, the Gentiles, can now come together and to serve the one true God. There is no separation now between the two nations. We are all serving the one king. Most of you do not know that I used to work for the devil. If you want to know more about that, check out this video over here where I share my personal testimony in the Lord.